and welcome back to thecrochetcrowd.com. Today's tutorial is all about attaching your squares together or any panels and you want an invisible seam line. So you don't want to actually physically see it or be that obvious of where the edging is. So simply what I just do is that I grab my darning needle and I create a slip knot on the other side. So I use that to my advantage. So I'm going to start off in one corner and I'm just going to pop it in the one corner and then I'm going to come in the other and I'm going right into the stitches itself. So just pick a stitches like so and I want to pull it out. So I want to stop just shy of the slip knot and I want to feed the yarn needle through the slip knot. I'm one of those people where I get really spastic if I think that the project can fall out. So I, I secure it extra with um, a slip knot just like so. So now when I come back to the other side and this technique was shown to me by the name of uh, Michelle who is a friend of mine and always 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 I've been going in the top stitches. It seems like that makes sense but what happens is it creates a seam line that is very obvious and it sticks up like a window pane. So to avoid that all you just need to do is that you simply go in behind the post and back out the other side. So it's almost like a front post uh, uh, crochet. So here we go we come into this side and we pull it like so. And so I want to lay this straggler down on top so I can trap it. So now I'm going to immediately go to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going in behind the top two lines there and I'm grabbing it by the post only and you stay toward the top. So if this is a double crochet you'll never want to come down into this section here. You'll want to stay into the top section where the strings are joining each other. So you just want to stay on the top side. Okay, so you come across and you're going in behind the post just like so. And what this is doing is I'm just going to put the straggler. So what I would normally do is keep the straggler down on top. I'm going to go across. Well, let me do it one more time. Is that I'm just going to come down behind the post to the other side. And so, and so see how I'm pulling it and it's trapping that straggler. So then we come down the other side. So the whole point of this is that the way that it's grabbing is that it's appearing that this that the stitches that I'm doing the whip stitching I'm doing right now is actually part of the stitch work. So it's actually blending in just perfectly. So just stick in behind the posts just like this going all the way down. So let me uh, fast forward. I'm going to do this side completely. So this will make this an invisible seam on this side of your work. You won't even see it. So I'm just working this off camera and I noticed a, a simple technique as well is that it's easier to do this if this is on a table versus holding it in your hands. So literally you can just pop it down, grab the stitch, again staying toward the top of it and just going back and forth like this. It saves your string from tangling with each other and it helps you stay more organized as well. So I'm just so here you have it. This is what it will look like. A beautiful seamless uh, attaching just like so. The seam will be on the back side of the afghan and uh, it is really amazing. So this is a great way to make the visible edges that you see maybe if you're displaying it on furniture or etc. from really being obvious on where you've attached everything together. So on behalf of the Crochet Crowd I'm your host Mikey and thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time we'll see you.